happy Friday. Today's already starting out to be pretty busy. First thing at 11, we have a self-tape with Nancy. She sent me a text this morning. She has a pretty big audition. Uh, it's three pages, and she wants to go over it before she goes in. And anytime somebody needs help with that, I literally drop whatever I'm doing. I mean, I drop whatever I'm doing if anyone needs anything else because, you know. And that's pretty much it for the rest of the day, um, aside from just like little normal office stuff that's not the least bit exciting. There's nothing interesting about calling Time Warner and complaining about your bill. So I got to head over right now because traffic uh, has been a little worse than usual. But I want to get some drone footage first. <laughs> So comfortable. So I went out and I got this wood cut so that I didn't have to spend a lot of money on shelves. So I'm thinking if I'm sitting like this, I don't, I don't want to stand up and hit my head. Yeah, I guess this is okay. Shit. How do people do this? I thought these little screws are supposed to stay in there like a magnet. How do people do this by themselves? Got it, bitch. Shit. Shit, this ain't gonna work. There's just some things I'm not good at, and construction is one of them. Even something as simple as putting screws on a wall, I can't seem to do. But what I am good at is hiding the hole so I get my security deposit back. I put toothpaste over the holes, and it covers it perfectly. We're pretty much set up up here. Customers aren't going to come up here. This is just a place that I can use to store shit so that it's not so crowded downstairs. And now that we got a couch... Um, it's going to be more comfortable here. But all these four shelves only cost me 30 bucks. Uh, these things I found in the trash, they look like, I don't know what those are, but they're not shelves. I think this wood comes from like a cabinet or something, or maybe like a TV cabinet, because this is pretty heavy, massive wood. It's not like bullshit shelving at Ikea. But I have plastic, uh... What do they call those? Like plastic brackets. And I'm afraid that the wood is too heavy for these brackets. I guess time will tell. This here is just like crap wood. It was in a crap pile at Home Depot. I bought it and then I shaved off like the tip of it. And then cut it into like six pieces. But I'm pretty happy with everything so far. Everything is working out pretty great. The only thing is there's this big freaking pipe up here. And I gotta climb under it. I don't know if that's in focus or not. I, I did my best. So I'll end with this. We just got a call from Manny. Manny used to be a member in like 2012, end of 2012, 2013. He actually came on board right before we moved to Hollywood. Now what Manny didn't know was that space in Van Nuys, uh, I used to live in. Uh, I lived in a space in North Hollywood. I lived in a space in Van Nuys. You know, it wasn't terrible. I mean, I made do. It was simple and easy, and um, I could have very easily gotten an apartment, but I wanted to grow the company. So instead of getting an apartment, I just got a bigger space that I could live in and still operate out of. Because I was working 24-7 anyway. I mean, I was just, like, die hard, which I still am. Now I just have other responsibilities. I can't just, you know, I'm married, I have three dogs, you know, life stuff. Like, who knows where this company is going to go again. If it'll ever grow back to way, the way that it was, or it'll just stay as is now. Either way, I'm super happy. But I didn't realize until today, when that guy Manny called, like, how much fun it was. And I didn't really appreciate that hustle, and that work, and that time, and that sacrifice, until that phone call today. Um, I won't go into what he said, but... He basically said that he like valued us and valued the service 
and value the support. Where most companies, I think, fall short is they focus on, you know, branding and I don't believe showcasing what a self tape looks like is going to do shit for our business. They all look the same. You know, the quality's great, the sound is great, everything's great. They're going to focus on your performance and that's it. People don't join our company because of self tapes. Well, maybe they're like super cheap, but um, they join because of the support. And I didn't really, I mean, I knew that and I've talked about it in previous videos, but. I didn't realize it or like really see it for myself until that phone call from Manny. So Manny, you said you watched my video, so I hope you see this. Uh, that call meant the world to me today. Um, I'm glad you're back. Welcome back. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week for Mox, and I hope you come to the marketing training. Um, so that's it. That was video number 11. Uh, thanks for watching. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to start my day at the beach. Oh, 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 o